this one has got soft tissue, so it won't make that much a difference in taking. So what you do, you cut it off, and you make an incision with the knife, and slightly go down enough of it so it comes apart. You take a piece of the thing and cut a V-shaped thing on that thing and insert into it and then tie it up really nice and tight. And what we use for tying up, uh, you can use stretch and seal if you have at home, if you're doing it at home, but we use parafilm. Parafilm is made out of wax. If you pull it, it stretches. It binds very well, but it will allow, under pressure, it will allow to, the plant to grow and the joint to become fused. That's what we'll do. So you cut off the stuff like that and make a V-shape at the bottom of the top where you want to graft it on. And this is a potato piece that is sticking out from the ground. You cut it off. I've already done that. Now you can see that I've wrapped it up and here. What I've done is this on this potato, one potato, I've, I've planted some yellow fruited ones. And also that I have micro tomatoes, which is actually tiny, tiny ones. Around. It has the quality, a low light tolerance quality, I'm told, so I'm experimenting with that. You get to find out if it is. And there are some black tomatoes. And also the celebrity uh, yellow, and this one is celebrity hybrid. I haven't got a label on it, but I will put it on. Celebrity hybrid. Now, depending upon what kind of tomatoes you plant it or graft it onto it, there is a difference because potato, as a as a plant, will grow and produce tubers, and it'll get bigger and bigger. At the stage when the tubers are fully mature, it'll quit growing. That's what happens in real nature. But when you go and plant a tomato plant, there are two, three different types of tomato plants that are available. One is that it'll grow only a certain amount of time and it produces quite a bit of fruits and then quits growing, which is a definitive type. And the other one is inde indeterminate type that is referred to like the one that you're growing in the greenhouse. It will grow for years and years. It will get longer and longer if you hang it and it'll continue to produce fruits nonstop for a long time to come. As the plant gets older, the root system is there, the trunk is somewhere here in the greenhouse, that's what happens. If you bury the, the trunk in the ground, it'll refresh itself and get new root system and it'll continue to grow. That's why if you're going to grow, one of the tricks I'll teach you, if you're going to grow tomato plants in your garden, rule number one, try to find the lengthiest and the longest plant that there is. Allow this thing to grow maybe one foot to two feet. Then what you do, you put it, dig a trench and bury it and only leave the top open and bury the stem. Within 10 days, this whole stem will produce thousands of root system and the plant will grow 10 times faster than if you plant it like this. Okay? So that's in order to produce a lot of tomatoes quicker and faster, that's a trick. Half the time, the people don't realize it. They buy the stuff and bury it like that. If you look at your tomato plants at the end of the season, even now, that you'll find the tomato is beginning to produce roots here, trying to find soil. So if you cover it up, if you make a hill, also it'll do the same thing. So that's something to remember. If one of the tricks to produce faster producing tomato plants and make the plant, how do you make it grow? You need the root system. How do you make the root system? Bury the front of the tomato. Does it matter whether it's determinate or indeterminate? It doesn't matter. It'll just go crazy. Is it better to make it sort of more shallow laying down or, or deep? Shallow. Because shallow. tomato plant root system only grows about five to six inches maximum. So any soil in your garden is good enough. I usually dig a trench four inches or five yeah. inch deep and bury this thing and then lift up the end because this is where the growing is going to continue. Occasionally, it will start making suckers from this joint and come up where that you are buried. So what I usually do when I put the plant here, I put a seed there to indicate that from the bottom of the plant and somewhere here is the end sticking out. So when I fertilize it, I make sure the fertilizer, if it is liquid, I'm putting it on. I put it on that area between the stake and here where the root system can get at. Make sense? Okay. So, yeah, this one is celebrity hybrid and this guy is, uh, will produce fairly large fruit and about a kilogram or two per plant if it is pinched out and only allowed to set once one growth. I usually let him grow and come August, ju end of July, beginning of August, go there and remove the, all the new growth so that the, the tomatoes that is set will be forced to mature much more rapidly and then, then I get all the tomatoes from the garden ripe. No half green ones, no flowers, nothing. So that's what you do. You force the plant 
Because what you're doing by pinching out, you have a whole bunch of babies and they are not grown up yet. So the plant will be forced to feed and take care of the tomatoes that is actually developing. Trick number one. Okay? Uh, let's do this. Now, I have to tell you there's a couple of sharp knives here. You have to be very careful. This one, you won't know when you cut your finger off because it's like a razor blade, like a surgical knife. So be careful or I can do it for you. And there are I don't know where the first aid kit is, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do the cutting if you want, but you can actually tape it and do the stuff. Now you have a choice of um, uh, putting one, two, or three varieties on some of these. If you're going to use the greenhouse one, all you need is a single one. But if the stem is too thick, you can actually put two skinny ones, okay? So it's, it's up to you. And I'll prepare this and you can watch me do it. And let's go and get some cuttings from the greenhouse. Parafilm is this one comes with a wax paper on top of it the, you peel this thing off and then if you if when you start wrapping it it'll stretch okay and it'll be nice and tight you use this thing in the um, when you do tissue culture and when you do grafting and stuff it's quite commonly used I think. Can you get this at roots? Uh, no, no but you I mean you've got lots of stuff here tons of the stuff you greenhouse can you can have it and if you this is from 3M I believe no American National Laboratories come in a box like that, 500 yards or whatever. <laughs> it's not very expensive, but it's quite useful. You don't need this. You can use stretch material, you know, the polyfilm stretch thing, that they wrap the packages and stuff. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. good enough. Yeah. But the problem is that is very strong, and it will restrict the plant from growing further. This guy, when pressure comes on, breaks, and so that the plant, that once the joint is good, you don't have to worry about it. It will be okay. The other one, you may have to undo it and allow the plant to you know, develop further. When it gets heavier or the joint becomes fused and create a problem. So let's do that. There's a three box of cookies my wife bought. So thought you folks would be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and cut some of the nacho. And this is Corona, whatever it is. Keep up separate. Okay. This is Corona too? I believe so. There's only three kinds here altogether. Here. Oh, eventually. Corona. Yeah, that should be enough for us, and I will use some of the other ones. And this one, the amount of demand that this is going to create, it's going to do, it'll come out okay. And also, I'm going to take the branches out from the side, so it'll tend to grow a little more bigger. So here, I'll do one in front of you so that you can do the rest of them yourself. Make a nice clean cut, and then in the center, put the knife about half an inch, and then use this guy and about half inch at 45 degree angle that you cut this thing into a V and then what you do open this thing up and shove it in until it begin to make noise <laughs> and then <laughs> and split up this is too sharp and uh, too sharp so I'm going to make it a little more shallower and exposing more cambium because it's a heavier piece and it may not say unlike the small one so this guy is going to complain and there it is that's it now we have to wrap it so wrapping get one of these things and put your name on it and see if it'll come back up <laughs> <laughs> okay you stretch it a little bit and you put it at the bottom that's where you start off and then you pull it don't if you pull too much it'll break but as long as you pull it tight enough and then you wrap it what you're doing is that joint that you just opened up, the injury that you created, you're sealing it up. And you wrap it nice and tight and keep wrapping because there is, I given you a lot of wax. So this piece that is wrapped, if you put water in here, it start feeding this one. It's like a transplant. <laughs> okay, it's just simple, very simple and it will take 
occasionally that you will have trouble compatibility from this tomato to that potato and that's possible but I haven't had too many difficulties because I've always used tomatoes that produces well okay this one will grow and sweet million is a gigantic plant that is growing there so now this is nice and tight you're done okay these two but you can take another two and do it I'll give you these are my plants that I got so this one again just a small angular stuff and split it and stick this one inside there and it's complaining that's okay and take this one oops If the piece that you're grafting on way too big, you could get into trouble because of the weight. Oops. It has to be clean. If it has got soil on it and things like that, it creates a barrier. So if it falls off like what I did just now, then you have to redo it. this one from the other one and I'm having problem with this guy oh. to tie him up. <laughs> Were you taking a video? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is, that's disaster. Oh, that's a great idea. Next time I'll bring you my little tripod though. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're very steady. Getting shorter and shorter. As long as the tip is there, it can yeah. be a little piece. This is to keep the potato beetle away. Yeah. No, uh, it doesn't no, keep the, the potato. The is to no, I mean like just the whole graph. So. Oh, why would you graph? Yeah, the potato beetle wants the potato beetle, right? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. No, well, this one is just kind of a fun thing because yeah. tomato wants a potato, right? Yeah. But in commercial industries, they often graft, um, let's say, if it's a uh, eggplant, for example, so they would have a disease-tolerant rootstock yeah. <coughs> that would translocate the disease tolerance okay. to the plant. Now, it is important that you don't move this while you're watering it and stuff for the next couple of days until it joins together. It's like having an injury, and if you mess with it, it doesn't heal very well. We have to get the thing to fuse together. There is always a chance that this is going to be rejected and not going to be accepted. So why don't you guys try some of these? Yeah.